Hey guys, today we're doing the PR plan for the Downey Rose Float Association. Now, what is the Downey Rose Float Association? Well, they're actually an organization that's part of the Tournament of Roses Parade. So they put a float that goes in the parade that we see on January 1st and sometimes January 2nd in the city of Pasadena. They are part of what they call a self-built float. So what are self-built floats? Well, self-built floats are totally self-funded, designed, constructed and decorated by nothing but volunteers. The Downey Rose Float is also a 5013C organization. It means from head to toe is ran by nothing but volunteers. We're setting some goals for the Downey Rose Float Association. One, we wanna educate people on the Downey Rose Float Association and what do we do and how they can help. Secondly, we also wanna raise funds for not just one float, but to several floats to come in the near future. So this requires a lot of help from the community. Now, when we look at our community as a whole in the city of Downey, the numbers say that 74.8% of the community of Downey is actually Hispanic, with the two biggest age groups being 5 to 17 and 25 to 35. Now, doing some more research, the California average parent is at the age of 35 years old which means in the city of Downey we want to target more Hispanic families we want to talk about the Latin community of the city you can do so little but a community can do so much your funds help us build a float that represents our community the community as a whole but more importantly it gives people an opportunity to be creative it gives people the opportunity to conversate with people outside their race, their gender, or what have you. So this is very important that we understand what is it that we do as an organization. We supply a giant float that inspires millions around the world. And it's done by the hardworking people in the community of the city of Downey. Now, in order to reach these audiences, we have to make sure that we apply certain tactics. And what I would like to do is take these tactics to the Hispanic community, especially posting posters up at Hispanic-based grocery stores for our Latin-based events. Also, I want our Miss Downey Court to do more TikTok dance videos and funny videos. Also, I want to partner with local restaurants to get QR codes for the tables. So, to break that down, I feel like we need to do more Latin-based events. One Latin-based event that I like to suggest is I want to do a Day of the Dead float parade in the month of October. Now, the float gets really gets into its hotbed in December, and then January hits, and that's when we go up to Pasadena to do the whole entire Tournament of Roses parade. So, with that said, if we tend to do an October event, it will help with some funding the last minute funding to go into the parade. And I think if we target Hispanic families to do a Day of the Dead mini float celebration, what it's gonna do is we're gonna get those young adult parents from the ages 25, 24, 25 to 35, as we talked about previously, to be involved with hopefully their kids, if not other kids within the community from those ages five to 17 to work together to make a float. And that is what it's all about on a small scale, them doing something together to represent not just their family and their culture, but our community as a whole. So these are things that I feel that we can do. Also, the QR codes. Now, I wanna get people not only just to fundraise for our program, but to know about our program. So one of those things that we wanna do is supply Latin-based restaurants with QR codes on the table that people when they're just there hanging out with their friends and family and they're waiting on their food they can scan the QR code it comes up with a brief description of what the rose float does and gives them the option to donate and it's something that's simple it's easy and all it takes is a sticker a printout to put on a table to put on a menu and there you have it a easy and quick way to fundraise and get people aware of the Downey Road Float Association. If we're doing more Latin-based events, we need to advertise where 
the Latino crowd is. And one of them is Hispanic markets. So we need to post posters in the Hispanic markets and not only English, but also in Spanish, which will help guide people to our organization and help us fundraise for a beautiful float in the parade. Now, how do we judge if we win or not? Well, membership increase. If we get an increase in membership, that will help us know that people are educated about our program, they're educated about knowing who we are, and they wanna be involved. Second thing that we can do is more volunteers showing up during decoration week. There is a week that we designate for volunteers to come down to actually participate and decorate the float. So we have more volunteers during that time. That means that we are doing our job as a whole. Um, obviously, increase in profit. So we want to make sure that for those months that we're doing those Latin-based events, that we are seeing an increase more than we've seen from previous years. And that will gain whether or not we have accomplished our goal of not just helping out the Latin community, but helping out our community of the city of Downey. So that is my PR plan. I hope it goes into effect. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you.